Welcome back to Surprisingly Geeky. Where, where we'll never actually get to talking about Sailor Moon. No. No, we'll never get um, there. But we're going to get there. Yeah. Right now we're talking about Sailor Moon. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. The, right now, like, all of Jedi's um, schemes involve trying to take lots of energy from lots of people at the same time. So those were all of his schemes, right? Um, the new guy... Who, now he, I think it's a... Oh, it's a new guy? Oh, that's right, it's a guy. Yeah, it's a guy with long hair. Um, which is the guy that I remember the most. Like, I... When... I don't really remember... Like, Jedi, I... Yeah. Attitude? Yeah, like, I, I know that I saw those episodes and, you know, looking, like, in hindsight, like, I can be like, oh, okay, I kind of remember. But this guy that we're that we're watching now, although I can't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> um, he totally stuck with me because he had long hair and that was awesome. Because when I was a kid, again, like I have long hair now, although it's in a ponytail. Excuse me, it's first. Um, <laughs> it's so good. Totally. Um, but yeah, like growing up, I always wanted long hair. Like I wanted to just let my hair grow. But does your parents not let you have long hair? Uh, yeah, they would always be, they would always be like, no, why don't you get it cut? And I'd be like, okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, actually during, starting in like junior high and going into high school, I actually styled my hair, um, after the guys from Friends. Like that, that's what I would go. But like Joey? Yeah, like Joey and Chandler. <laughs> I can see it, oh my god. Yeah. Like I would, I would just go in to the barbershop. Graduation pictures yeah. and your high school pictures. Oh my Totally, I would, I would, that, that's exactly what I would do. I would go in and I'd be like, I want to look like Chandler. Like Chandler and Joey, like I want to look like them. And they're like, okay. That's what I would do. What the hell is oh, that? That's my phone. Who's calling me? You changed your ringtone. You totally did. Pardon me for a second. Hello? Holly speaking. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll be heading again this year. I will be, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> there is one of the things that I procrastinate on <laughs> my taxes. <laughs> I was so confused, guys. I never get calls, guys. Thankfully. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> oh, except for the my first phone that I had, my first cell phone card. In Toronto, I got calls constantly. Long numbers? From, uh, I don't know, whoever had my phone number before just like hoard the hell out of it. Everybody had this number. Uh, collection agencies and DVD rental places that were, uh, you know, weren't being returned and just all kinds of freaking people. What's that? It's a guy frozen. In... I got a mm. Malcolm. Um, and, uh, I was getting three or four or five of these calls a day. It's one of the, the things that, uh, helped spur my hatred of my ringing phone, actually. And, uh, oh, it was horrible on my anxieties. Like, it would ring and I would jump scare every single time. Every time. Anyway, I like my new ringtone. It's the first time I heard it. Yeah, that's super cool. <laughs> it was the... The speaking guy, right? Yes. Um, in, in the windmill. Yes. <laughs> Legend of Zelda. Yeah. I remember things. You remember things. He always cut. He's kind of creepy. That guy. Yeah. Yeah. He is. Um. So yeah, the the new guy, the guy with long hair, um, long brown hair. So yeah, I I he stuck with me, um a lot as the cool bad guy. Um, part of it, I think, 
And I don't think we've gotten into this. Actually, I can almost guarantee that we haven't actually gotten into this in the show yet. But, like, I think, like, after a few failed um, things, like, he almost starts to become, like, friends with the same Scouts a little bit. Really? I think so. Like, he kind of sees, like, you know, there and something or other. I think. I don't... I, I know that he definitely doesn't, like, last forever. Um, but I think that happens. But yeah, his schemes are all taking a lot of energy from, like, one person. Which is kind of more interesting. You get a lot more, like, characterization. I don't know. You get a lot of monsters way. that look almost exactly like. Well, I mean, that's been the case all throughout. So <laughs> like, like, the the, the monster design is not all that inspired. No, no, it's not. Um, I hear it's really different, though, from the manga. Yeah? Yes. Um, like, the characterization is pretty different. I'm not entirely sure how it is. Um, but uh, I do know that Tuxedo Mask, for instance, doesn't come to Sailor Moon's rescue every single hey, time. Let you in here. They, Get lost. From what I've read, anyway, they work together and they're like a team. Touch him and it's Plasma City! Oh, yeah! Gosh. Yeah, I never, I never read any of the Sailor Moon manga. Hey man, I can't hear you. I'm not a fan of the artwork. No, it is okay. We are your fellow desert riders. A little bit. You sound like a little bit. It's not stopped yet. It's like. you can borrow my bluebell. It's the sound of my stomach. It's almost five o'clock. Hang in there, my We're gonna go Oh yeah, a place called Joe Works. The, this place has got burgers. Yeah. Lots of burgers. So I'm pretty sure it's a franchise, and there's like a, at least a few of them like around. Oh, it's not like Empire. places haven't done this before either. Yeah. So this place is called the Works, and the one that we go to is in downtown Brampton. And it's awesome. Like, I think that it's the best burger in the city. Um, basically, you go in and you choose your you choose your type of patty. They've got um, beef, elk, you know, and then they've got you know, chicken, pork, portobello mushrooms, like all sorts of different kinds of patties, and uh, they have like these really nice, soft, homemade buns, or, you know, in school, buns that they make themselves, so I guess homemade. Um, and then they've got, like, tons of different, um, co uh, topping combinations, and, uh, it's so good. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have anything, um, really all that different when I went the first time I had, uh, uh, seven layers of no oh, seven. It's called seven degrees of Kevin Bacon. Yes, that was it. Seven degrees of Kevin Bacon. So there were seven different kinds of bacon on my uh, on my burger uh, with with some onion, uh, which was nice, which is delicious. But you had a really really different type of burger. Yeah, mine was called the hunka hunka. And it was peanut butter and banana and bacon, and it was actually delicious. I never like, would have thought of that, and I still think it sounds really gross. I will admit, when I first looked at it, like it definitely sounds like bananas, peanut butter on a <laughs> burger. This shit is bananas. This shouldn't be. This should not exist. Who would ever think of it? But I tried it anyway, <laughs> and it was best like, it was thing good. ever. I don't I don't know about the best thing ever, but I would definitely eat it again. Um, in fact, I'd really like to try it again because I want to try it with like a regular beef patty. Because I had um, a peppercorn crusted patty. Oh yeah. And I think that it I think that the pepper interfered with the flavor a lot. Mm. Like I think it was 
overpowered for what the the toppings were. Um, I have um, a uh, cheese stuffed patty this time. Mm. Well, that's surprisingly beaten. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and most of all, check out meowington.com. Yeah! Cute kitty action. Cute kitty zombie. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. And.